Hello and welcome back to Etec Hunting. We are out on the farm again, this time with the Impact M3, the Wildcat Compact BT, and we're going to shoot some pigeons and sparrows, so sit back and enjoy. <laughs> This morning it's pretty windy, so we decided to bring out the big M3 with the 800mm barrel. Now this one does have the new muzzle brake silencer which makes the gun look much shorter. Um, it's shooting 34 grain javelins at 1000 feet per second, which will help in the wind. I've got the Wildcat here as well shooting 21 grains, but with the higher BC on the 34 grains, I think this is the better option. We're setting up the, the impact over there. There is a bit of an echo coming from that um, little food warehouse over there because it's hollowed out so the guns might sound a bit weird in the video because it's going to get that echo from underneath that roof structure there um, but yeah that's pretty normal uh, we've got a few pigeons out here a lot of sparrows so we're going to see what we can do here should be fun luckily it's not too hot today it's actually quite cool but a lot of wind so uh, it's going to be challenging Now this is the first one, 61 meters. As you can see by the blowing feathers, the wind was pretty strong this morning. <laughs> Down he goes. What was nice is there's a little piece of rope there swinging in the background in the wind, so I could use that to gauge what the wind is doing. Because we're pretty much protected here, we can't really feel what's happening. Yeah, he's down. 61 meters. I pretty much had it dead on and as soon as I saw that rope drop I took the shot. The slug traveled straight to that pigeon and hit him exactly where I aimed. <laughs> Got that one, 63 meters. This one actually jumped the shot but I got lucky and hit him mid-flight. There isn't a lot of activity today, the weather is pretty weird, it's very windy and overcast so the birds are not very active. So today is just a waiting game, so we're just sitting waiting it out. Every now and again a pigeon comes and sits down or a sparrow and then we're just shooting it. But it's fun as well because we're sitting and relaxing and it's not too hot, so yeah, enjoying it. Oh, another one, 63 meters, down he goes. Got a little bit bored now waiting for activity so we're going to take the wildcat bt which is the, the lightweight gun and we're going to walk around a bit and see if we can find something because yeah we're just basically sitting and waiting and the time is going by pretty fast now so uh, yeah we're going to see if we can find something if we walk around you can probably hear on the mic it's pretty windy um, I hope this mic can handle it because it's a small mic on top of a GoPro. Um, but yeah, we've got some, some birds around here. I'm going to see if we can get them down. We've got the 21 grains, which they've got an okay BC as long as you don't go out too far. They should do well. So we're just going to try and keep it short and compact and see what happens. Yo, another one going down, boom, okay. <laughs> that was a big fat one at 33 meters. Maggie starts off with a bang and hits this one right in the chest. He just collapses on the spot and starts rolling down the roof. You could hear that pop, they expand like crazy. That pigeon didn't even move, just went straight down, roll off the roof and down he went. So let's go have a look at him. So that was a pretty loud pop. I think this one was hit solidly in the chest though. So I should be able to show you. Let's hope it's not too gory. Yeah, you can see it went straight in there. Nice in the chest. Out here at the back. But as you can see that slug basically stays in there. Because of that massive expansion. Doesn't really exit, make a big exit wound at the back. All that energy is contained right inside of the pigeon exactly what you want crazy Maggie is pretty quick on them today while I was filming that she's already on to the next one and setting up for it so yeah <laughs> I gotta be quick yo 
Yo, nice Ooh. one. <laughs> 74 meters with the wind swaying. Maggie connects this one solidly in the head, resulting in a massive explosion. Now it was my turn and I scouted around a bit, but it wasn't too long and I found a pigeon on the roof and then it was just about finding a nice spot to shoot him from. Having a good shooting bag with you is very important because then you can turn any obstacle into a good shooting position. Down he goes through the neck, 60 meters, awesome. This shot was straight downwind, hits him right in the neck and he dive bombs down to the ground. Maggie found another one at about 44 meters. Ready. Nice. <laughs> Man, I 44 love, meters. I love these 21 grains. They are so destructive. Just look at all that energy contained right in that pigeon. Nothing passes through. That 21 grain slug is doing exactly what it was designed for. Yes, that time is over at 35 meters. <laughs> And that is why I say this is my gun of the year, the Wildcat BT Compact, because this is fun. Walking around, finding your targets and taking them down with each 21 grains, with all that power, massive pop. I mean, it's just fun. Oh man, the cat got our bird, there he goes. <laughs> Went through here. I was about to go pick him up and he took him. Well, it's a meal for him. Here he goes, and there he goes, oopsie, sorry. He'll come back to them. So I'm gonna leave them here for the cat. There's another one. Let me put it in here for them. They'll come and get it. Oh, there's another pigeon there. Maggie spotted another one on the roof over there trying to find a good spot to shoot him. Now that looks like a, a nice spot. Just watch out for snakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's snake snake season here in South Africa. So you gotta keep your eye open for the Cape Cobras and the Puff Adders. They are both extremely lethal. And we're far from hospitals here, so we'll probably won't make it if we get bit by one of those. Nice one at 49 meters. Another solid impact with no pass through, leaving the wall behind perfectly intact. Maggie immediately moved on to the next one and using that shooting bag to her advantage again. Yes, 44 meters. I'm always so like, wow, <laughs> did I get that? Yeah, she certainly got him pretty good and straight down he goes. Maggie is really getting good at her PRS shooting. She's spotting locations to shoot from or obstacles to shoot from very quickly. She sets up very quickly on them, gets comfortable and takes the shots perfectly. So yeah, it's not everybody that can do that and she is uh, pretty good at that by now. So very proud of her. And as we said before, we are on the lookout for snakes all the time. Because through the neck. Through the neck, nice. These are prime, prime snake areas. Long grass, hot stones where they warm up because they are reptiles. Nice shot through the neck. Pretty loud pop again. <laughs> Off to the next one. You can bring that. <laughs> I was up next and I had a sparrow in my sight. With these you have to be very quick because they move along pretty quickly and then you miss the shot. Down he goes, 37 meters. This one hanged a little too long and I got him right in the chest. I then immediately turned my attention to a pigeon. Straight through the neck and there he goes. 
Yep, they were straight to the neck and I just love it when they drop like that. So satisfying. We found the pigeons again way over on that roof over there. So we're just walking down there now and see if we can get a shot on them. Should be able to. And he goes, I think that's either in the neck or the head, judging by what he's doing there. So, <laughs> cool. Again, it's straight through the neck. This time, the spinal cord gets disconnected from the muscles, causing this kind of behavior. through the neck there, as expected. Dead. Well after that pigeon I think uh, we've had enough. The humidity is currently killing us. You can see back there some nice thunder clouds starting to form. It's pretty hot now and the sun is really beating down on us. Our skin are turning a bit red. So it's time to call it but we had loads of fun. Loads of pigeons down, even some sparrows. So we can't complain. And just as I thought we were done, Maggie already spotted another one. And here we go again. Yes, my last one went off with a bang. It's, um, it's 67 meters. I think Maggie just wanted to show me who is boss as she takes down this incredible shot. Well, that is it. We are done for the day. We had loads of fun. It's always fun to walk around on the farm as well and search for your targets. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and then we'll see you next time. Cheers.